In this video, we're going to talk about reports. Reports are customizable charts, tables, and track maps to help you visualize your simulation results. We'll begin with a demonstration of how to create your own 2D chart. In the ribbon bar, go to Create and select 2D Chart. A 2D chart lets you plot one axis versus another. First, select your horizontal axis and your vertical axis. and then select the results you want to plot. Below are some customization options. You can configure your line spec or your marker spec if you want to have a gradient or if you want to add a trend line. You can always return to the chart series editor either through the ribbon or through the context menu. Now we're going to create a new series. A new series will let me define a new set of axes. In this example, I've only changed the vertical axis and chose the same results. I'm also going to check the secondary axis option. This will create a new vertical axis. With different series, I can overlay multiple results in one chart. You can also customize the title, axes, and legend. For example, let's add a title. I can customize the title by double clicking on it. You can do the same with your axes. And with the legend. You can quickly add and remove results from your series with the series editor. Select on the series and toggle the results you want to plot. Note. When multiple results are selected, the colors will default to the colors of the results. You can also double click on a series. This will show the simulation results for that point in the output data. There are two other types of charts, yaw moment diagram and comparison charts. Yaw moment diagram charts let you visualize yaw moment diagram type simulations on a yaw moment versus lateral acceleration chart. Comparison charts let you compare individual single state simulations to each other. You can customize your comparison chart to show either a line or a bar chart. You can also choose to compare with respect to a baseline. The next type of report we have are tables. You can select the result at the bottom and select the channels you want to output. This is useful if you want to view raw results, or if you want to copy and paste results into a program like Excel. Lastly, we have track maps. Track maps are useful for track replays. You can color the track map by an output channel, and customize the track map just like you did with the 2D chart. Note that you can only use track maps with track replays that have a distance or time channel. 